Hi lovelies, Veronica here, getting ready to do your monthly angel card reading. This reading will be for December 2013. And uh, I'm at the center right now. It's really quiet and peaceful. Uh, so it's a perfect place. I mean, this is a wonderful healing space and this is a perfect place for your reading. So let's go ahead and get started, okay? So um, I'm gonna go ahead and ask um, angels, archangels, um, guardian angels and personal angels, the angelic realm to come through and give the messages needed for healing, for enlightenment, ascension, alignment, and love, and uh, all things that come with that, which is success and joy, abundance, peace, um, prosperity. Thank you, angels, for all of these things and more. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and pick the first card. Again, this is your angel reading for the month of December 2013. And the first one is Manifestation. Okay, so um, looks like for this, this uh, last part of the year, uh, many of you have experienced uh, seeing your things come through to fruition and the angels want to congratulate you on that and uh, you're doing a great job and continue what you've been doing. You know what that is to bring those manifestations about. So congratulations. Um, you've manifested new opportunities and abundance. Uh, now that now that know that you can experience these okay these gifts these wonders and more thank you angels for this thank you thank you thank you now uh, um, they're also saying that your the things that you hoped for your your aspirations uh, are on their way to you, okay? And um, for those of you that are in the process of manis manifesting, this is a message for you as well, okay? Uh, what you're wishing to manifest now, uh, they may arrive in a different fashion than you expected. However, the rewards that you truly desire, the rewards that you truly desire, um, such as Peace, security, happiness, and abundance uh, are manifested exactly as you requested, okay? Uh, ask your angels to help you have faith in your ability to manifest. Because with this faith, you and divinity can do anything, anything at all. You are a co-creator with the divine for the things that you experience in your life. And remember these things that you feel strongly about, whether they're negative or positive, that's what you attract into your being. So focus on the good in all, okay? Feel good about everything. And be thankful that more and more of what you want is coming into your life because you are keeping up those high vibrations of positivity and appreciation. Now, again, this is a process by which all thoughts transform into form, okay? They begin as an idea, okay? And that idea, of course, is born from divine sources, okay? Now, the idea meets with the feeling, and if the feeling is loving and nurturing, the idea and the feeling create the, 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 the embryo of the manifestation. So you nourish your newborn, so to speak, uh, idea by believing in it and by following 
the step-by-step -step guidance that God and the angels give to you through your feelings, dreams, and visions, okay? Every thought and dream and vision uh, is connected to your feelings, and what you feel is what you get back from the universe. So, watch your feelings. Thank you, angels, for that. Thank you. Okay. Now, seems like they want me to shuffle a little more, so I'm going to go ahead and shuffle here. All right, let's see what they have to say this time. Self-acceptance. Thank you, angels, for that. And that is precisely what I try to tell people, and myself included, um, as often as I can with every opportunity that I get because self-acceptance is very important when it comes to manifesting uh, what you want because if you don't accept for yourself or approve of wanting these certain things and accepting of your true wants um, which is truly accepting yourself, uh, then it, it, it's going to be difficult for you to manifest these into your life because you feel like um, possibly you don't deserve them or it just can't happen or you don't see how it's going to happen or whatnot, okay? Um, don't worry about the how and approve of yourself, of your wants, your desires, your dreams. Accept them, accept yourself and move forward. Stay positive. Um, the angels are saying that you're a perfect child of God and every part of you is wonderful. Your angels guide you to let go of negative self-judgments and to enjoy being you. Okay, that's exactly what I started uh, saying about this card, okay? You are much too hard on yourself. Your angels say to you through this card, um, that um, nurture yourself, okay? Give yourself a break. Give yourself uh, patience and compassion. Although you enjoy having high standards, it's important to view yourself through loving eyes, okay? Um, looking down on yourself or uh, feeling like you're not good enough um, only makes your spirit sink. Okay, self-improvement comes from a positive mindset. See yourself through your angel's eyes and you will see someone who is a perfect and holy child of the divine. Now, although you have made mistakes in the past, there is nothing that you um, could, ha could have ever said, thought, or done that, that would change God's love for you, okay? The angels see past your surface mistakes. They see the beating heart of God's love within you. The love you, uh, uh, they love you unconditionally. And they ask you to love yourself in the same way. Love yourself. Thank you, angels, for that message. That's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, they want me to keep shuffling for the next card, so let me go ahead and shuffle. This has been a good reading so far. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> I hope you are too. <laughs> okay. Wow. Okay. Children. Now, this doesn't always mean what you think it means. <laughs> All these readings are, are um, personal, individual. Um, 
but if you want more insight, uh, you know, you can contact me and I can give you a personal reading. Uh, this is, this is, uh, I'm sorry I meant to say that these readings that I, you know, tape here are, or record, are, um, for the masses, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, so don't be, don't get nervous, okay, <laughs> about, um, this children card. Now, you are asked to pay extra attention to your children if you have children um, and, and uh, also your inner child right now and if you don't have children then pay more attention to your inner inner child this is what this card is really about okay now new children may be coming into your life very soon um, you never know someone new you might be uh, getting ready to have a baby or um, you might uh, see some cousins or nieces or nephews that you haven't seen in a while. Or maybe your friends' kids that you really have never met or spent time with. Uh, so kind of keep your eyes open, okay? This card um, signals that the angels see your need to play as well. Uh, to have fun and to honor your inner child. Uh, perhaps you will play with your own children or, like I said, friends, children, nieces, nephews, maybe even grandchildren. Or you might enjoy having fun with another adult or doing um, work that involves helping children, okay? So take some time to ask your inner child, how do you feel? And what would you like to do, okay? Plan, plan an, an, an afternoon where you take your inner child on an outing, okay? Do things that allow your playful side to emerge, okay? Swing on a swing at the park or go down the slide, you know? Take an afternoon nap. Um, draw on the sidewalk. Play hopscotch. Who remembers hopscotch? <laughs> or build a sandcastle. Make mud pies, you know? Nurture your inner child at this time of year before the beginning of the new year. Um, you want to start this coming year anew and fresh with, the, with all the old issues uh, left behind, okay? Love your inner child, acknowledge your inner child, nurture your inner child. That's part of, of accepting yourself as well, self-acceptance, okay? Nurturing your inner child so that you can remove the old uh, blockages that just seem to keep you in the same place over and over and over again. It's okay to nurture your inner child. Um, you may have had a not so good childhood. Well, take the time to nurture the child within, okay? The child that maybe never got a chance to really be a child because they had to be the responsible one, okay? Uh, maybe you had a, a, an abusive childhood somehow and you never really found joy in being a child, okay? This is a time to do that. Nurture your inner child. Send love to yourself. S accept yourself uh, through love, through your inner child. Okay, heal that child. It is time. It's time. It's time. It's time. And move forward and be cleansed and refreshed and start anew for the coming year. This is a great reading for the last month of 2013. So I'm very blessed to be giving this reading to you. And I'm thankful and appreciative that I am here as a conduit, as a channel, a medium to relay this message. I'm so, you guys don't even know right now, I feel so thankful right now that I'm able to convey this message. Just so lucky that I'm able to do this for you and myself. Thank you. Let's do one more for December, okay? Okay, so. <laughs> Celebration. Celebration. That's fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Why do I think it's fabulous? It's fabulous because 
um, this card showed up at towards for the month of December towards the end and um, and uh, hey we want to uh, we want we have a reason to celebrate because we have made it through a whole new year and there is a whole a whole slew of possibilities in the next coming year okay so this is good news this is cause for celebration okay starting a new refreshed um it's time for you to enjoy the fruits of your labor labor all the work that you've done up until now yes 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 whether it's spiritually mentally physically emotionally at work whatever it's a time for you to celebrate okay you've been building momentum you've been building up energy guess what celebration has come so thank you thank yourself for uh, hanging in there okay thank yourself for hanging in there and do and doing what you've done um, the angels want you to know that this is a light filled time in your life and, and you've been working toward making changes and your intentions have now manifested into form manifested right Yes, yes, yes. This is a time for you to fill your heart with a warm feeling of gratitude for yourself and for uh, the divine because they have co-created this right along with you. The angels ask you through this card to, to hold strong in this gratitude, okay? You're like a gardener who plants seeds and nurtures them um, uh, because um, you have faith that that your labors... Uh, um, will bring you new growth, okay? So keep watering and tending to your seeds, and you will soon see them sprouting through the surface, as you have already uh, begun to. Now, the angels are your co-gardeners, your co-creators, uh, who help you tend to your crop, so keep up the good work. Ask the angels to help you co-create what it is that you have been working so hard for. Um, and they will. They will. Okay? Become sensitive. Uh, tell them that to help you see their signs and receive. Be sensitive enough to their guidance. Okay? Tell them to give you eyes to see, ears to hear, and... and, and um, help you to see and hear their guidance okay their signs and symbols um so thank you thank you thank you divinity for this great 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 reading for december 2013 last month of the year um i will be doing a reading for the coming year 2014 i'll be doing it close to the end of december so keep an eye out for it this was a privilege for me and and an honor to be bringing you this this last message of the year for December 2013 it was a great message and I hope you take the time to listen to it over and over and over again throughout the month of December uh, because it will lead you guide you help you uh, to bring more manifestation and to love yourself accept yourself and nurture the child within nurture yourself and then celebrate all your all your work, your accomplishments, and celebrate the coming accomplishments and reasons for celebration, okay? So thank you so much. And I will talk to you towards the end of December for your uh, 2014 reading. And also for January 2014 as well. Um... Stay tuned if you have any questions. If you would like a personal reading, uh, you can go ahead and message me. You can um, Facebook me on my Facebook page. I'll put all the information down at the bottom here of this video. And uh, you can contact me through my Etsy shop, through Twitter, whatever. Any way is fine. Or through here. Okay, so have a great rest of the year. 
for this last month of 2013. Talk to you soon. Until next time, love and appreciation.